Hi, and welcome to an exam question that we're going to complete together. Uh, it's worth five marks, and it's on graphical inequalities. Um, now, the first tip that I've got, first thing that I would do if I was faced with a question like this is read it very carefully. So it says the region R satisfies these inequalities on the grid. Draw and label the region R that satisfies these inequalities and shade the unwanted region. OK, that's in bold. It's very important. So take note. OK, so the first thing we need to do is to uh, draw the boundary lines. OK, and the boundary lines are basically these inequalities with equal signs in, not inequality signs. So the first one is y equals 2x. Uh, the next one is 3x plus 4y equal to 12. And the next one is x equals 3. Oops. Meter. OK, now the easiest one of those to draw obviously, is x equals 3. We know it's a vertical line crossing through the x-axis at 3. So every single pair of coordinates, um, every single point on that line has its x-coordinate being 3. OK, so we've got 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, and so on. OK, so that one's done. The next easiest is y equals 2x. Um, now some of you might find it's easier when you're faced with something like this, y equals 2x. It's just to, all, I mean, all you need is a minimum, is a couple of points. Think about what values could lie on the line or what pairs of coordinates. Um, so the x coordinates, say the x coordinate was 0, 2 times 0 would give a y coordinate being 0 as well. Okay. If the x coordinate was 1, 2 times 1 would give a y coordinate of 2. Okay. So we've got two points. That's all we need, 0, 0, 1, 2, and we just go and get a line, uh, maybe put it in a different colour, there we go, and you can see there that it does sort of work nicely because for every one we go across, we go two up, one across, two up, we know gradient is rise over run, so two divided by one is two, okay, and we can also see that y equals 2x has, you know, in terms of its y-intercept would be zero, so it is crossing through the uh, for the origin, zero, zero. Okay, now the next one that I've got is this one. Okay, trickier. <laughs> so I'm going to share my top tip here, which is if you've got something like this, again, you only really need two points on that line in order to draw the straight line. Okay, so I would recommend that you set x equal to zero and y equal to zero. And the reason why is because if I set x equal to 0 here, I'd get 3 times 0 plus 4y equals 12. And 3 times 0 is just, is just 0, so 4y equals 12. And so y would have to be 12 divided by 4, which is 3. So the y coordinate going with x equals 0 is 3. If I go and do it for y equals 0, okay, um, and put y equals to 0 in here, then I'd end up getting 3x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. Therefore, 3, 3x equals 12. And what's 12 divided by 3? x would be 4. Okay, so the basically what I'm finding, if I set x and y in turn equal to 0, what I'm finding are the x and y intercepts on the axes, the axis intercepts. So the first one that I've got is 0, 3. So that's along the corridor at the stairs, 0, 3. The other one that I've got is 4, 0. Yep, so along the corridor to 4, the stairs, 0. Okay, so then I can just draw in my line like so. Let's put in a new colour, maybe that one. Okay. Like that. All right, so in my opinion, I think that's the easiest. I mean, obviously, you can change it around, you can rearrange it in the form. Um, y equals mx plus c and look for the gradient and the y-intercept and construct it that way. Um, but for me, I think that's, in this case, easiest. Okay. Look for the axes intercepts by setting x and y in, uh, equal to zero one at a time. All right, now the next thing then is we're going to analyze whereabouts this region R is by shading the unwanted regions, okay? So it's saying that the wanted region in this case, now that I've got the boundary lines, Okay, so I've got um, y equals 2x here. Yeah. All right, it's less than or equal to, so it's a bold line. Um, it's less than 2x. That means I'm going to shade 
well, I want the area underneath, don't I? Because all this area is less than, and the area above it is more than. So if I want the area less than, I'm going to shade the unwanted region. I'm going to shade out the stuff I don't want. So in this case, it's this right here, isn't it? I only want underneath. I only want less than that. All that gets shaded out. Okay. And the next one along is the one I just did. This one. All right, so I'm going to deal with this one now. And it's saying for this line here, the 3x plus 4y, let's remember which one it was. Let's even label it. Maybe we should have labeled it as we went along. 3x plus 4y equals 12. That's that line. And it's greater than or equal to this. So I want above that line. So I'm going to shade out the stuff I don't want, which is the stuff below the line. So I'm going to shade out this stuff. I need to be as accurate as I can. I'm going over a little bit, but... Okay, you get the idea. Um, try not to, obviously. And then the last one is this one. Okay, so we've got this final line, which is x equals 3. Uh, x equals 3. And it's less than or equal to 3 that I want. So I'm going to shade out the stuff I don't want in this case. Um, yeah, so it would be the stuff that's more than 3. You can see over here, all these x coordinates you can see are more than three aren't they i've got four and five and so on and so forth okay so all this stuff i don't want i only want x coordinates less than or equal to three and so what i end up with which is often the case but not always is this lovely enclosed triangle here which i'm now going to complete this question for my five marks and do what they ask me to do which is to label it r and i'm done okay so there's my five marks so just going through this again, first job is to draw the lines, the boundary lines. And then we just, once we've got those lines in and labeled, hopefully, so we don't kind of forget which one's which, then we're going to analyze, are we looking below? Yes, we were in this case. Are we looking above? Yes, we were in this case. And below again, less than here. And that should leave the, once we've shaded out the stuff we don't want, leave you a certain region. Okay, so I hope that's all clear and nice and easy now and if you liked my video please do comment like subscribe and it helps others to find my videos as well